I recognize the member from the P and Carleton. Thank you very much, Speaker. I beg leave to, uh, to uh, be given to introduce a bill entitled Rowan's Law, an act to establish an advisory committee to make recommendations on the jury recommendations made in the inquest into the death of Rowan Stringer and that it now be read for the first time. Ms. McLeod has moved that leave be given to introduce a bill entitled an act to establish an advisory committee to make recommendations on the jury recommendations made in the inquest into the death of Rowan Stringer, and that it now be read for the first time. Is it the pleasure of the House that the motion carry? Carried. Carried. Ms. McLeod for a brief statement. Thank you very much, Speaker. I'm here to this is a bill entitled an act to establish an advisory committee to make recommendations on the jury recommendations made in the inquest into the death of Rowan Stringer. First reading of the bill, Premier Lecture Project de Loire. No, you can recognize me. I recognize the member from the P and Carlton, Ms. McLeod. Thank you very much, Speaker. Today I'm joined in the gallery by Gordon and Kathleen Stringer, two of my constituents uh, who are joining us at Queen's Park today to support Rowan's Law. Their daughter, Rowan Stringer, passed away tragically when she was 17 years old playing rugby in our community of Barhaven. I am pleased to, uh, to have the support of this bill from all members of this assembly, and in particular, I would like to say thank you to my co-sponsors, Catherine Fife of Kitchener-Waterloo and John Fraser from my neighbouring community of Ottawa South. In addition, I would like to say thank you to the Minister of Culture, Tourism and Sport and the Government House Leader for making this bill a reality. This bill enacts the Rowan's Law Advisory Committee Act 2015. The bill establishes the Rowan's Law Advisory Committee to review the jury recommendations made in the inquest into the death of Rowan Stringer. Those 49 recommendations uh, span a variety of different government departments, a variety of different jurisdictions, and non-governmental organizations. This uh, committee would, uh, would recommend how to implement those recommendations and perhaps make other recommendations with respect to head injury prevention or treatment. The committee is required to provide its recommendations in a report to the Minister of Tourism, Culture and Sport, which must be tabled in the Legislature and published on a government website. The bill provides the Act is repealed after one year and three months after the day it comes into force. Speaker, this is a very important piece of legislation that could save lives across Ontario. It will be the first of its kind in the great nation of Canada, and I urge all members to expedite the passage of this bill. Thank you very much. Yeah, 